In this video, I'm going to walk through um, the use of the proper PHP include plugin. And what this does, it allows you to um, insert PHP code into posts and pages, and just using a short code. So rather than disable the visual editor like a lot of the other plugins have you do, you just uh, use a short code that specifies um, the location or the file name of the PHP file that is to be included in that uh, post. So it'll execute the PHP code within that file. So you just um, upload the the plugin just like any other plugin and then activate it and it'll create a new um, let's see here, it'll create a new menu under settings right there, proper PHP include which opens up here and by default when you get here it'll be empty it'll be empty so what that does is the shortcode needs to know the path where the PHP files reside so by default they're in the current theme folder that way it's just easier for you to edit the files later because you can do it right through the theme editor so I just set it up um, as the default to be the theme folder so let me click save on that okay so here's the the plain the regular short code it's called ththq underscore include underscore file and then the actual file name so since there's no actual path in here and there's no path in the actual shortcode it'll use the default path right here so I have a file in there called test.php which will execute on that on this particular post so I'll, I'll just refresh it and there it tells me that my I have two echo statements in there basically just some simple PHP that echoes hello world and then it echoes the location um, so since again since um, there's no path in here and there's no path specified in the shortcode, it'll default to the theme path. So that's where it's getting test.php from. Now, if I wanted to have a have a different spot where I keep my include files, say in the root of my site, I would specify that path there. Now, it doesn't look in the temp template path anymore. It'll look in the root, which happens, this is the folder the the path to the root of the website so after making that change click on save changes and now it'll look for test.php in this folder instead which I called the root so let's refresh this and you'll see it echoes hello world again and it echoes the location which is root and then okay and now that's this becomes the new default path for the PHP files but if for some reason you wanted to change that on a short code by short code basis, um, you can just put in a new parameter, tthq underscore path, and then specify the path there. So I, for for the test here, I put wp hyphen content. So this is that's it's going to look for test.php within this folder. So this is the over the ultimate. Like this one overrides every other setting. So it overrides the default setting that is specified here. So let's save that and test. So now it echoes hello world again and then it echoes the location which is WP content which it pulls from here. So as long as this is present this is what this is the path that will be used to look for this PHP file. Now I'm doing this in text mode I just noticed but just like any other short code, you can do it in visual visual mode as well. Just paste it in. Same thing. And that's all there is to it. It's as simple as that. Now you can include um, all your PHP right within anywhere you can put a short code basically. So that includes widgets.